Hey, we're Kirsten and Lewis and we live in our VW crafter named Cora. If you've been following our little Europe adventure series, we are on our way to Amsterdam this week and it's one of our favourite cities in the world. It is beautiful, the people are great. This video is a little bit longer this week, so grab a cup of tea, your favourite biscuit and we really hope you enjoy. Nothing like a bit of dramatic lighting for the start of a video. Just arrived in Amsterdam and look at what we've arrived to. campsite give us like free pastries obviously straight away I've already started they're really good really good apparently they said they're from breakfast but they chucked them away obviously in the night and now it's like what time is it like four o'clock so you just get them for free pretty cool we're quite close to all the facilities I'm gonna go shower in there yeah you need one I do I don't need a shower. <laughs> Smell you from here. Do what I'm gonna have first though. What are you gonna have first? Copella. Oh no. Yes! If you've seen the last video, you can't get vanilla full fat Coca Cola in the UK anymore. You can only get Coke Zero and it meh, doesn't taste the same. So stocked up in Gouda. They probably got them in Amsterdam as well, but. Mm. So I'm on these for my shower. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, the name's still going to mm -hmm. Yes. Has it got an adequate amount of vanilla for you, darling? It's got so much sugar. How much sugar is in it? Too much, probably. 27 grams. In a 250ml thing. Man. I'm happy. Dancing in the shower, no? anyways all right we've actually been to amsterdam quite a lot over the last few years well obviously there was a gap because of covid but we've always looked at this amazing cantonese restaurant that's on a boat and we just we never end up booking it in time and it's always fully booked so this time i booked it as a surprise to lewis and it's oh, so cool look look how cool this is the restaurant is called Sea Palace and it was raining whilst we were there but there's some amazing outdoor seating but I would just recommend that you book at least two weeks before you arrive otherwise you could be disappointed. We've been disappointed about five times now because we just haven't booked in time but it was just so nice to finally be able to go in here. So yesterday we didn't really film much, it was just raining all day so the camera would have just been soaking, we were soaking. Our bags, which I'm going to show you now, had like torn, so these are like four versions of them because they don't do plastic bags in Amsterdam anymore for the environment. But then we also used more of them so I don't know. But yeah, basically we went around thrift stores all day, which we've never done before. We've been to Amsterdam a few times and we've never thought to like look for really cool thrift stores. And I'm quite fussy with clothes, so didn't think I'd find anything. I actually found the most. Lou only had one thing. So we've got some big bags. So I'm gonna retry everything on again. I don't know if anyone else does that, I just like to do it. So. Get that camera out of my face. <laughs> so this is the t-shirt I got, which is like a Harley Davidson one. Let's see if you can see the back. Ooh didn't actually buy that much so I've just got to show you like two other things and then Lewis has got one thing you gonna show that or am I showing it you can show it it's not even like something that I'm gonna wear day to day it's probably something that I'm gonna wear if I'm like kinked in or something it was basically a really good price this t-shirt was a really good price if you know how much the t-shirts are worth I've been looking for a t-shirt like this for ages and the cheapest I've found in the UK is 70 pound and this was 45 euros was it yeah yeah, this was 45 euros. So actually a very good price, even though it seems a lot for a second hand t-shirt. Yes. Next. This is one of the jackets. And what is a jacket like this for a while? Ooh, it's in a pocket there as well. I thought you found a rip or something I then. I love pockets. No. Has just... it got inside pockets as well? I don't know, I haven't really looked. To be honest, I was just too excited trying it on because I liked it so much. It's got pockets there. <gasps> Does that mean it's a man's jacket? It's very clearly a man's jacket, Ghost. Don't say that. It's, it's a style though, isn't it? It's not now. And yeah, I kind of like this. 
You look like a bouncer. Oh, he was cute. Where's the nut? Where's the puppy? There you go. I think it's cute. This was 40 euros. Cheaper than the t-shirt. Cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have one left from me. This is my other one. I'm probably going to say this wrong, but I love Napa Piri stuff. And this is like a vintage, retro-y Napa Piri jacket. I don't know how old it is, I can't like tell with that stuff. It could just be 2002 to be honest. Oh wait, it's not that old I don't think. It's either 2002 or 2016. Either way, it's not that old, not really vintage. 2002 would actually be vintage for the next 20 years. This one smells weird. It smells like perfume. But not my perfume. Yeah. Oh, that was cute. That's Ooh. quite funky. It's got like a thing. What's that? The flag. Flag of what? The flag. <laughs> don't test my geography, you know, I don't know flags. Almost went for Sweden, but no way. I'll wear yours to show to show what you got. Since I'm already wearing men's jackets, anyways. Like add a shirt to the mix. So this one was 20 euros, which is just generally just good for what it is. And I don't actually know what make it is. It's on the bottom. I was about to say, like I see something down here. Angelo Litrico? Yeah, I knew I was gonna kill that. This is Lewis's shirt. <laughs> Tad big for me. But if you imagine Lewis. So we've been using this little film camera a couple of times. We used it in Bruges. We used it, did we use it in Gouda? Or did we run it? We ran out in Gouda. It was like half a spin, wouldn't it? Where else did we use it? Yeah, and the cheese. You and the cheese. So yeah, I'm just I just like rewound it. It's a film camera. But every time I rewind something I'm always worried that I'm just gonna open the back and like it's gonna expose. So we're doing it again. Ah, ah it rewound! Yes! Lou it rewound. Woo! I can't wait to develop this. It's gonna look so cool. It's also the first time we've used it, Lou bought it for me as a Christmas gift. I'm excited. So you just need this little thing to be sent off. But yeah, basically when it goes on, so this ring thing that goes onto here, you pull this and it spins. And then you get like a 360. It's called a spinner 360. Easy name, makes sense. Don't know if this looks way too much. <laughs> we'll see. That's some proper content creation gear you got there. Do I look stupid though? It looks huge. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hold it. I just find it like I can take pictures then, you know? We're ready. Let's go. Not letting the rain ruin it, are we, Lou? No. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Hi, right, boys. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to leave the campsite now and head into the centre with the many, 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 many film cameras. <laughs> Hopefully, we get some nice shots and not just overexposed rubbish. We got more film than Disney. I'll leave a link down below to the campsite that we stayed at because I know I won't be able to say the name properly and then no one will be able to find it. But it's been great so far and this is about a 15 minute walk to the boat which is a free boat that takes you over to the centre of Amsterdam. So I thought I'd just show you some of like the walk and like when you're on the boat just so you could kind of get like an idea of where this is. Just in case you kind of want a campsite for Amsterdam. I would definitely recommend this campsite. It does seem a little bit expensive because we went in off peak and it's 33 euros a night, but it's really, really clean. And the area that it's in is just so convenient to get to the center, but also not be too in the center that it feels too loud or too much. And I think it does go up a little bit in the summer, the prices, but if you looked at how much, say a hotel room would cost in Amsterdam for the night, you're looking probably minimum 100, 120 pound to be anywhere close to the center.
they've got a film here as well. Yes. I want to do a film anyways. Most of you may not know, but when Lewis makes music, he goes by the name of Astoria. So I found this really cute place. He didn't know where we were going. I was like, it's just a surprise and it's really cool. And we're going to take some photos and that's kind of it. And yeah, that's literally where we're walking to now. I don't know if anyone else would want to visit this, but it is actually very impressive. It was built between 1904 and 1905. So it is actually classed as an historical landmark in Amsterdam. It was the headquarters of a bank insurance company. By this point of the day, we'd done a lot of walking and we were both starving. And we really, really love all the Argentinian steakhouses that are dotted around Amsterdam. There are just so many of them and the steak is normally great in all of them. And they all tend to have like lunchtime deals. So you can have steak, chips, salad for a really, really good price. Some even include the drink in with the price. So it's just a good bargain tastes great and yeah we just make sure we always stop off for one at every trip to Amsterdam I thought he was on the corner but it's there this is one of the places I've been absolutely dying to visit I've seen it I think I must have seen it on Instagram maybe and yeah I love strawberries and it just looked incredible Ah, oh, look how cute they are. We're standing in the rain eating strawberries and they're so good. Mm, you should try it. No. Try a bite. No. Do you want the waffle no. off the top? No. Just a waffle. No, thank you. Lewis doesn't like strawberries because he's weird. This is, I feel like guys will know about these situations, so I'm dragging Kirsten to the football later. Mm. So now I've got to do this, like go around getting strawberries and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, we've walked quite far to get these. <laughs> mm. I said guys, just, just people in relationships. The strawberry inside is like... Uh, yeah. Fruity. Like really nice like fresh <laughs> I think the rain's calming down which is a good thing oh my god I'm gonna take off now oh. I think I want some later so I don't want to waste it all now but where is that box gonna go <laughs> aww carrier yeah you can okay why is someone making a weird noise we hold it for a minute whilst I sort my cameras out this back in. I'm never letting go of this box. <laughs> so <laughs> this is probably gonna be really weird. You'll either find it funny or weird. But Lou has now started this thing when we're out in a public place. He pretends he doesn't know me because he knows how easy it is to get me to laugh and this just creases me every time. So yeah this is one of their moments. <laughs>
It's the usual Kirsten stop. Yeah. Toilet. Toilet break. Yeah. Lou has never been to the shopping centre, but I came a few years ago and it was really busy and kind of crazy, but it was strange because we went in and most of the shops are now closed down. We've only actually gone in to use the toilet, which costs one euro, but there was like Yankee Candle and a couple of clothes shops, but really not much else. When I last came, there was a whole market. To our right is the Royal Palace of Amsterdam. There's not normally armed guards there, so something must have been going on inside, which is quite interesting. But normally you can buy tickets and go inside the palace for around £11 each. <laughs> Leaves not fast on wild birds. We like domesticated parrots. Well, that's a popular one of the videos. Okay. I'm not a fan of pigeons, they were like, they were pooing everywhere. Kirsten's like, oh, let's go and have a look. And I'm like, no. It's cool though, they're landing on people. Yeah, and they get rewarded with breadcrumbs. I know, poor things, they deserve so much more. Don't make it obvious, but if you look over there, there's like police with guns and stuff. <laughs> don't, don't make it obvious. <laughs> Subtlety is everything. <laughs> Lou just wants to know what's happening. I'm sick in the rain. <laughs> Will you do that on the side of the road? Because we've spent way too much in the last week. <laughs> I'll get the sign. guitar from the van. Little sign, I need money for my ridiculously expensive campsite. <laughs> <laughs> so we're almost back at the campsite now. We've been soaked, but it stopped for like the last couple of minutes, we stopped at a supermarket just now. We've got like nachos with a cheese dip in the same tray. And we've got, what are they? Big bags of crisps, <laughs> like weird Dutch Special. flavors. Yeah, and there's a Subway one. We got a Fritz sauce one, a Subway one, and then like the ones that we got in Gouda, and they're like the, what was it, potato oh, yappy? they Max ones, so. Oh yeah, but Lay's Max flavor. We're just heading back to the van now. I've got my big bag, and uh, you're only allowed to take small bags into the Ajax Stadium. So we're gonna drop the bag off, refresh, maybe like do my hair again, get changed because we're soaking, and charge yeah, phones. charge phones, charge this camera, and then head off. So next time you see us, we'll probably be inside the Ajax Stadium, acting like absolute hooligans. <laughs> So we've just been back, charged all our devices, had some food. They're all on 100%. I am tired. I feel like I'm on about 30% myself. <laughs> Wish I could have added that. But we just decided to watch some TV and eat crisps. I know, we didn't even eat properly. But we're gonna have hot dogs. I'm so holding on to that. Imagine they stop doing that. Don't say that. Don't, don't make that into existence. Or bring that into existence. What's I saying? Speak it. Don't speak that into existence. That's the one. <laughs> I'm manifesting no hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so dark already. It is something past six. So it's around six o'clock right now. And this is how dark we are at. So if anyone knows where I can get a new set of feet, let me know because... <laughs> I've literally got blisters on the underneath of my feet. And they hurt so much. It's like, like normally, I don't know if anyone else gets them, but you get them like on, on the back of your heel or something. But this is literally under my feet. So there's no hiding from them. We've walked miles. I haven't even walked this much in years. <laughs> years. Years. <laughs> 
We walked to the free boat again and then headed to the train station. It cost just under 10 euros for us to have a return ticket to the stadium. We were on the train for about 15, 20 minutes and it was a little bit busy because obviously Ajax were playing, but normally it's never that busy. There's like, there's loads of Ajax fans on here. But I just said to Kirsten, they know where they're going. I don't know where I'm going. Who knows if we'll make kick off. Find out soon. <laughs> Try it the other way. It says you've gone through. At this point, I went to find help. Could barely find anyone for a few seconds, but yeah, we got him through. <laughs> I know, I was like, like go! <laughs> The Ajax Stadium is the biggest stadium in the Netherlands, built from 1993 to 1996, costing 140 million euros. The stadium can fit 55,865 people inside, and they've got these pretty cool escalators to go up into the stadium. So we just got some chips, curry, mayonnaise, um, Game finished 2 all. Lots of angry fans. It was uh, quite hostile, but it was good fun still. There was no hot dogs though. It's just gonna be dark. Music. Yeah, a little bit. So much space. Straight on, I think. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. So we got back pretty late last night. Well, it was very late, but not very late, but basically the shower shut at midnight and we got back to the van at 25 to 12 and I really wanted to shower before we checked out today and we wouldn't have had time this morning so I like ran over, had a shower, came back, forgot to film and then we got up this morning, done the water, the toilet, Ugh. done everything else we've just cooked lunch which was my, uh, was it your favourite thing that I cook and the gas is somehow twisted on yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, made like a chorizo pasta tomato thing and where are we going now? We were doing the toilet and some angry Dutch man came up and was like, are you just parked here? And it's like, very <laughs> clearly not, mate. And they were like, the toilet out, wet wipes and stuff, the chemical bottles. And he's like, are you just parked here? No, we didn't know. What, by the toilet thing, like where you empty the chemical toilets with my toilet on the floor, I parked. And I'm tired today, so that really annoyed me. <laughs> I was there like, oh, I'm moving in a second. Oh, but you just parked here. I was like, no, 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 I'm doing the time, I'm moving in a second. Oh, but we need to, I was like, yes, I know, I'm moving in a second. Like, there's stuff everywhere. I can't just pull away with the toilet on the floor outside, the chemicals on the work top with, like, the lids off and everything. Oh, so if it you was ever, so rude. If you ever go to the camp in, what's it called? Leinenbog. That place. Something. And you see a bald, middle-aged Dutch man 
Yeah, he was tough. Tell him he's not very nice. He, he was not very nice. <laughs> so, like, I can go in this guy because I can. <laughs> it was lucky that I was almost done. So Maybe it's a cultural thing. Nah, being nasty is not a cultural <laughs> thing. Every other Dutch person has been lovely. Especially in the reception, they're very nice. But yeah, where are we off to now? Some um, graffiti museum in, what's it called, NDSM? Yeah, like the Nord area of Amsterdam. It's basically like Amsterdam's equivalent to Brooklyn when you look at it. It's a very cool area. Show it in a minute. I think so he's... hipstery. <laughs> Did you say it's 15 euros a ticket? Yeah. So it's 15 euros a ticket, so it's going to be 30 euros to win. And we've paid like four euros to park for three hours and a bit, which isn't too bad, but I don't like paying to park, don't know why. <laughs> my least favourite thing to pay for. It's going to be fun. time that we came to buy here probably like three years ago I've seen this big big thing by here and I went make up note <laughs> I could have like um, I said make up not euro <laughs> for once I got something that you didn't <laughs> I was really chuffed at myself if you didn't catch that because the wind basically there's graffiti that says make art not euros but Lou just kept reading it as make art note. <laughs> so it was actually 17.15 or 15? It's a 15 pounds. Ah, 15 pounds. Okay, cool. Wow. That was my reaction to that. <laughs> ah, that is a cool one. What one? The orange one. That is cool. Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> Oh, I love interactive things. Oh, what do you do? Are you meant to write on it and put in the holes of the shutters? Ooh, ooh, ooh. The holes are actually bullet holes. What? The bullet holes? Yeah, okay. So, the holes in the shutter are a direct consequence of explosions and hails of bullets. It invites you to share healing and personal messages with people in war zones or one of the colour post its that's amazing. By placing these in the bullet holes, the grey shutter slowly becomes a colourful panorama of hope. So they're going to pass the messages to artists that are in war zones, like street artists. That's so cute. To rewrite one. So then the new works will be photographed and returned here as pictures to be added to the original work, the shutter as a photo exhibition. What do you think? Yeah, mm -hmm. Imagine you knocked the whole thing over. Huh? That's the whole 
one. <laughs> like. This is towards the end of the museum. You can basically, you touch the wall and it makes different sounds. It's like an interactive music graffiti wall. Very cool. That's so cool. made it this far through the video or even if you only made it five minutes in thank you so so much for watching if you did only make it five minutes in you're never gonna hear this but if you lasted to the end then well done because this one was quite long but really hope you enjoyed let us know any thoughts in the comments and if you did like it please actually give it a little like and subscribe for more thank you